Well, we survived the thunderstorm. It was a pretty good one. The second wave of it that came, saw some lightning but and thunder, but we were so tired we both fell asleep in the middle of it. So we don't know how much it rained the second time. Tent held up very well. We were surprised with all the wind. Real foggy morning. We're headed into Duncannon. We're gonna get picked up by some friends and uh, spend the night at their house and dry out our gear. And They were uh, gracious enough to wanna host us on this trip and we really appreciate it. I'll show you some of the walk in the fog this morning. This is Hawk Rock with Dun Cannon laying below it. It's a lot of fog blowing in. It's pretty cool. And I can try to climb it with the. We got some pictures on it. I believe that must be Dun Cannon over there. Or no, maybe over there. I'm not real sure. This is uh, coming down into Dun Cannon, Pennsylvania. It's uh, kind of rocky, kind of sketchy. They got these steps that the they put in probably in the 30s. Loosely, I'll call them steps. A lot of work placing all those boulders all. We just came down from Hawk Rock. When we section hiked this section in 2019, we were racing a storm into town. <laughs> Seems like it's always raining in Pennsylvania to us. sat at the same gas station five years ago on a section hike through Pennsylvania thinking one day when I see this gas station again we'll be doing the entire trail it's 
weird time really flies because it seems like that wasn't that long ago that we were sitting at this gas station racing a storm into town this would be uh dun cannon proper i believe uh, i see the doyle up there that's a famous place for hikers to stay i believe if i remember my history right the doyle way back in the day it was one of the first budweiser distributing or warehouses or where they made it uh, in the United States. Duncannon is also, well I haven't, but we haven't been past Vermont on section hikes, but I don't remember any of the trail that goes three miles through a town. This has to be one of the longest uh, city walks. Usually you just go through it from a little bit and out the other side or catch the edge of it. But this takes you quite a ways through town. There's the outfitter across the street. Kind of outdoorsy, I think we're gonna check that out. in the Susquehanna River in Duncannon. See people fishing down there. It's a big river. Busy road too. We're gonna get picked up by our friends uh, up here pretty shortly. Should be a parking lot on the other side of this bridge. We'll get to dry our stuff out from the storm. Really looking forward to a shower. Once you get wet a few times and dry out. Woo doggies. You stink. Hot. Especially that one in front of me. Woo. Huh? I said I love you. Urban hiking. Getting intense back here. Big Ben, you better back off another five.
was in the tent last night thinking it don't rain in sunny southern Pennsylvania. Man, it pours. Roadkill, I guess? 